What's going on guys? Bama's Outdoors back with you again today. We decided we would take a little break uh, from bass fishing and come out and hit the creek today. Hopefully we'll be able to catch several fish. I've already seen a few fish, which is a good sign. We will be using our Berkeley worms, trout worms today. And throughout the video, I'll be sharing some of my tips to help you have a better chance of catching trout using these worms. To me, they're hands down the best bait you can use for these little creeks uh, besides corn, which I do not use corn, and I know a lot of fishermen do use corn, but corn actually kills trout. They can't digest it. And so I will not use that, I will not use corn. I will occasionally use night crawlers, but today we'll be using the Berkeley worms. So uh, before we get started guys, please reach up there and hit that subscribe button and help us uh, reach our yearly goal of 2,000 subscribers. I believe we're at 1,700 and like almost 40. So every little subscription helps. We'll be very grateful and when we hit 2,000, we'll do a giveaway. And so extremely, extremely grateful for your support and let's see if we can't catch some trout guys. Thanks for watching. Here's my little Berkeley worm. I've recently went from uh, a size eight hook to a size six. I like the size six a little better. Uh, I get a lot better hookup ratio and, I, and it keeps the trout from uh, swallowing the hook. A little split shot. He said they had some bites right down here. Let's see. never know about fishermen. Sometimes fishermen are seen you in the wrong direction. That's one thing about being on these creeks when you're out here videoing. A lot of folks don't know your video and so they'll come by and start talking to you, which is fine. Oh, I just had a bite. Good bite. Little bitty guy. Get him in the net. All right. It's not a bad looking fish. There we go. Beautiful little fish. I'm going to take a minute and let him go, guys. We're going to let him catch his wind. Here he goes. He's perfect. Look at him right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's gone downstream, but he's still going to be fine. Awesome. All right, let's go back out here. Now, all I'm doing, guys, is I'm casting upstream. I have caught a lot of fish. We just saw a fish jump. I have caught a lot of fish fishing downstream, but I prefer to throw upstream. That way I don't disturb the bottom of the water. You know, stir up dirt and stuff, which triggers the fish. They know somebody's in the water. So I always like to cast upstream. I see a couple fish out there. Oh, I see one going after it. Oh, he hit it. Oh, I, just, I see several fish in there. Another guy.
He's hooked good too. Let's get him in the net. Good looking fish. Let me see if I can get him loose for you. Good looking little fish. Got him loose. All right, guys. So that very first, that very first fish we caught was on an orange with flake in it, like gold flake. The second fish we caught was on more of a brown natural color with black flake in it. And now we're going to go to this neon green. We like to keep switching it up because those fish will get kind of used to the fact that of seeing a certain color. So sometimes throwing out a, a different color can trigger them to bite. So take that into consideration whenever you're using these worms. Make sure you bring plenty different uh, colors with you. It may take us a few more casts to catch another one, but we'll try. Maybe they'll like the green. Look at that. First cast on the green, guys. That was one of the, this is one of the better fish. It was in the hole too. So far we've caught three trout on three different colors. That's a good, beautiful fish. Let's get him in the net so we don't lose him. Look at the size of that bad boy. Holy cow. That's actually the biggest fish that's uh, in this hole. And he is absolutely gorgeous. One cast with a green, one trout. Beautiful fish. Let's get him loose. Got another one, guys, on the orange. I don't know if you can see him out there. I'm having a hard time even seeing my camera. Get my net. That's a nice one. Oh, thank you, Lord. I'm telling you, these worms, they do the trick. Actually, our first fish we caught earlier today was on the orange, and we actually went back to the orange again. Caught another one. I think I got another one, guys. I do got another one. He's going downstream, though. He ain't even putting up a fight. Must be because of the heat. These fish get really stressed when it starts getting hot. They become more difficult to catch. Let me get him out of there. Here you go, buddy. Let's get him loose. Get him loose and get him back in the water. Maybe grab him. guys hope you enjoyed the video we ended up catching probably let's see we went to two different spots we caught three fish over at the first spot we went to and then we ended up catching two fish uh, to this new spot we went to 
but this whole video was about just giving y'all some tips and some tricks and some techniques on how to fish those uh, trout worms, those Berkeley trout worms. I mean, I don't go trout fishing without them. They catch me more fish than anything, but just make sure you have a big selection. Uh, yeah, please, please, please subscribe and help us to try to reach our yearly goal of 2,000 subscribers. We would be very grateful. Uh, we will definitely be back with some more bass fishing and more trout fishing videos soon. Uh, we'll actually be doing some more videos on some tips and things like that as well. So, as always, guys, God bless. Happy fishing. See you again next time.